YouTube, this is Hello Productions 234 and I'm here to show you how to make a pretty good muzzle flash in After Effects. What you need to do first is uh, import a, some footage of you pretending to shoot a gun. You could do this by going to File, Import, File, or just going to the place where you have your gun, where you have your footage, I mean, and uh, drag it in. But since I have a camera in iPhoto is recognizing the camera and um, it is going to bring it up here soon and right here okay so just drag your footage in I'm gonna quit here now when you drag your composition down when you drag your footage down to a, the timeline it automatically makes a composition to fit that size of the video um, what are you going to do now is you're going to find the place right before the gun pulls back so right here right right here this point because it pulls starts to pull back right there so right here and uh, then you're going to then you're going to get a muzzle flash you could get a pretty good muzzle flash off of Google images um, it has to be with having a black background and you could also put it in the video by using and uh, just blend it in with the mode screen but if you have Action Essentials 2, it really helps out because it comes with all these muzzle flashes. Uh, you could either use Muzzle Flash 16. Um, muzzle Flash 16. 17. Uh, right here. Or 18. They're all pretty good rifle muzzle flashes. I'm not saying that they work for everything. I'm going to use muzzle flash 17. Just drag that in over your footage so you can see it and put the foot put the clip in the right spot. Now we're going to scale it and put it in the right position in front of the gun. If you don't know how to zoom out already, you could either press comma to zoom out and uh, period to zoom in or you could use the scroll wheel, but since my scroll wheel is broken, I am using comma and period. Thank God they made it like that. So, no, right here. There we go. There we go. Now, what you're gonna do, if you want to, this is not, this is uh, completely mandatory if you don't want to. Um, you can make this a 3D layer, and uh, just by clicking on this cube down here, and uh, it, and just like let's say if your body is at an angle, like mine is right here, you could angle the muzzle flash in the perspective of your, the gun and the body and uh, your gun or whatever since I'm at an angle and uh, you can do that if you don't want if you want to but uh, I'm doing it if you don't want to do it then you don't have to alright so now we want to add some background interactive background like with the with the light that the muzzle flash is going to display so now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the footage by clicking command D or control D depending if you have a Windows or a Mac and go down to um, this the movie thing. Go down to toggle, switches, modes. Make sure you have your footage selected. Go to mode, add, and um, there you have it. And I forgot. See how this muzzle flash looks all cheesy right here? Set the blending mode on the muzzle flash to at to uh, screen. And there you go. It blends in with the footage way better. And you can see the smoke. Most people know that, I, if you don't know already, muzzle f the muzzle flashes in uh, Action Essentials 2 come with smoke already in them. But uh, if you don't have smoke, you could get a... Um, it doesn't matter. If you don't have Action Essentials 2, then uh, I guess you could figure out some way to put some smoke in it. Um, okay. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to the ellipse tool. You could get to this by holding down the rectangle tool up here and you go into the ellipse or just pressing Q multiple times. Now you're going to mask this part out like that 
and uh, when you let go, oh wait, hold on. Just make sure you have your video selected again. Sorry about that. And uh, just mask out this part. Mask out an ellipse tool. And um, there you go. If you don't like the color, you could go to Effect Color Correction Tint, and you could change the color of the what the mask is going to look like. So now, since you have that part, you have like the background wall. I'm gonna fix this a little bit. Now you're going to go to the other places that you think the muzzle flash will hit. Like, um, let's say, uh, your hand, your arm, a bit of your face, shoulder, body, and thigh. So, let me just do that with this uh, pen tool. There we go, right here. A little bit right here. There we go. And uh, right here. Okay, just going to get up to 100% here so I can see the whole thing. There we go. And uh, that looks pretty good. Um, I might be. M and uh, yeah, okay. So once you have that done, if you click on this thing right here, it gets rid of all the lines and it looks horrible. It looks like one of those old Mario games with all the pixels. So you could fix that by selecting all your masks, going down here, and bringing the feather on all the masks up. And it gives it, and it kind of blends it in with the screen. Like it's not just like. A random light that's there. And you're going to go to the first mask, the ellipse tool, bring it a little bit more up because it's really close to the muzzle flash and you want it not to just look like a big circle. So about right there looks good. Now you're going to select all your masks again and you're going to go you're going to go one frame before the muzzle flash even appears. Because we don't, it's not going to stay bright like this the whole time. Now go to the mask opacity, click on the uh, little time thing, little stopwatch, and uh, bring the opacity all the way down. Click on the stopwatch and opacity, and then go to the frame, go one frame ahead where it's like that, and bring it all the way up, and uh, then go at least one or two frames after the muzzle flash and bring it all the way down again and it should look something like this and here's this, here's the little interactive background Oof. the brightness right here and uh... that's it, that's how you make a pretty good muzzle flash with uh, After Effects thanks for watching, please comment, rate, subscribe and